This is the Fujifilm GFX 100 megapixel camera. It can shoot 4K up to 30p in 10 bit video. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Makoto san from Fujifilm. Makoto san, how are you? Hi, good. You? I'm always good. What's the choice in life? <laughs> okay. Makoto san, uh, you've just introduced two cameras from yes. the GFX family. One yes. is the GFX 50R and the other one is the GFX 100, which as filmmakers, it sounds a very interesting camera. Yeah. But first, uh, first thing first, let's talk about the, the GFX 50R. Yes. What's the difference between this one and the GFX 50S? Uh, anyway, the looking is totally different, right? So 50R, R means a range finder. So range finder style is a big difference of the other functionality is basically totally same, including the image quality, performance, everything. Uh -huh. So it's mostly about the look and making it a bit smaller, yeah, more thinner. user thinner, user friendly, and yeah. kind of to go out of the studio yes. and, and yeah. move out and shoot. Maybe for the snap shooter or maybe street. Yeah, reportage, uh, kind of photographers, uh, yeah, always looking for such kind of lens finder style cameras. On the other hand, 50S also works as a system camera, like uh, in studio or more better grip and uh, with a bit bigger lens or something. How did you achieve this type of compactness? Uh, we reconsider the like a construction of the hardware devices, especially for the focal plane shutter and battery. So both cameras will be in the market right now? Uh, the GFX 50S will continue uh, to the, be sold? The 50R will be uh, launched in the November. And the S will continue yes, to be in the market? Yes, of course. Because, you know, we want to keep both different style, same function, same quality. Yeah, it's a system camera and range finder side. Now to the more interesting announcement, which yep. is still in, it's a, it's a concept camera, yes. but this is the GFX 100. Yeah. 4K, up to 30p, yes. 10-bit internal recording. That sounds, um, and it's a medium format, format camera. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the idea, where is it coming from? Not only still, but also even the movie should have that kind of expression of, by medium format, right? So. Thanks to our new technologies, especially for the new sensor and new processor, will cover the 4K video, even in the medium format camera. When do you think the camera will be ready? Uh, so we are developing hardware, so hopefully maybe next year, like 2019, first half. First half. Do you have a bit more technical information? For example, will it be 422? Four to zero, for example. I think we can say like four to zero and ten bit, a uh, four to two ten bit output. Output yeah. through the HDMI. Yes. So even the HDMI will output 4K. That's very interesting. Yes. And internal recording, uh, internal recording, will it be um, four to zero, eight, four to zero or ten bit? Yeah. Okay, very interesting. Uh, so we talked about the availability. How about the price? Uh, so we. Now we can just say t around 10,000 10, US dollars. Good. Anything else to add about the new camera? I mean, of course, it sounds very interesting, and maybe that would be another big jump from full frame uh, into a medium format because obviously you are not producing full frame cameras. No. Why is that? Because we, we already good enough both you know X and G effects. So now we can cover every kind of photographic field and also the cinema world, right? Currently, we just concentrate to develop X series and GFX. That's enough for us. Makoto san, thank you very much. No, no problem. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.